This is an interesting question from projection of planes. A circular lamina, diameter is not given. A circular lamina rests on a point on HP with the diametrically opposite point on VP that is leaning onto VP in such a way that the front view is an ellipse of minor axis 40 mm. Front view 40 mm minor axis and the top view is an ellipse of 60 mm minor axis. Agreed? Front view is an ellipse of 40 mm minor axis and the top view is an ellipse of 60 mm minor axis. Okay, what you do is I am giving you two possible methods of drawing it. Draw XY line, draw a vertical line, measure 60 mm to this side and 40 mm to this side. Get two points, connect it. Actually, this is the end view of the lamina leaning onto VP. It's the end view of the lamina leaning onto VP. Agree? Now, listen carefully. Listen. Push the lamina from this side. Or actually, the lamina is leaning onto VP like this. Push this point so that the lamina touches VP. Agree? Push the lamina from the bottom so that the bottom comes nearer to VP and this point goes up. So in the interview, we can say push from this side so that the lamina finally become like this. Lamina become like this. What is this length? That length is equal to this length. This is the lamina. What is that length? Length is equal to this length. Agreed? Now the lamina is touching VP. What is the elevation? Elevation is a circle. Draw the elevation. Agreed? We don't know the diameter. We are not bothered about the diameter for the time being. Push it so that it touches VP, it remains on VP like this. The right one is the, the interview of the lamina. This is the elevation of the lamina. How do you draw this? Get it center. Take the center and this is diameter, draw the circle. Divide the circle into 12 equal parts. And name it A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash, E dash, F dash, G dash, H dash, I dash, J dash, K dash, L dash. Agree? D double dash, C double dash, E double dash, B double dash, F double dash. A double dash, G double dash, H double dash, L double dash, K double dash, I double dash, J double dash. Agreed? Now, take these points and mark on this. What is this? This is D double dash. What is this? This is C double dash, E double dash. This is B double dash, F double dash. This is A double dash, G double dash. What is this? This is H double dash, L double dash. This is K double dash, I double dash. And this is J double dash. Now, drop these points down.
when this lamina is again pulled from J to this position, D falls down from there to here. What happens to these intermediate points? These intermediate points moves down, moves down the, through these vertical lines. So that, so that D comes somewhere here. D dash. This is C dash. This is E dash. This is B dash and this is Wait, C, E, B, F, F dash. This is, or this is actually D, this is C dash, this is E dash, this is B dash, this is F dash, this is G dash, this is A dash. This is H dash, this is L dash, this is I dash, this is K dash and this is J dash. Connect these points. What do you get? You get an ellipse whose major axis is 14. Agreed? Now, drop them down, come here, draw arcs, draw horizontal lines, locate points, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L. Connect them. You get an ellipse. What is the minor axis? 16. Minor axis is 16. So this method is a shortcut. This method is a shortcut. I don't advise you to go for this method. I don't advise you to go for this method. Even though this is a shortcut, it's better to avoid it. Instead, what you have to do is, if this is 40, and this is 50, uh, 60. How much is this? Square root of D equals square root of 40 square plus 60 square. How much you will get? You will get it as about 72 amount. Around 72 amount. Agreed? Now, Draw x y line. 72 mm as diameter, draw a circle. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L.
ए डैश बी डैश सी डैश डी डैश ई डैश एफ डैश जी डैश एच डैश आई डैश जे डैश के डैश एल डैश हम जिस इस डायमीट्रिस डायमीट्रिस सेवेंटी टू टेक एनी पॉइंट डेवन डैश फोर्टी एम एम एबाउ ड्रॉ या होरिजॉन्टल लाइन हम जिस फोर्टी Cut this line. How much? Seventy-two. Almost correct. You have got what? You have got the elevation. Redraw. This is G one dash. Take mark these points. There, 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 there. B one dash, C one dash, D one dash, E one dash, F one dash, G one dash. H one dash, I one dash, J one dash, K one dash, L one dash. Draw a pen. Draw a new plan. You know the procedure of drawing a new plan. Draw vertical projectors down. A one, B one, C one, D one, E one, F one, G one, H one, I one, J one, K one, L one. Agree? If this is forty, what will be this? Since the diameter is given, that will be sixty. When this is forty, this will be sixty. Agree? So in either you can take forty mm above and cut an arc and project a new plan, or you can take sixty mm away, draw a vertical projector, cut an arc, and project the plan. Now redraw this plan. How do you redraw it? Redraw it in such a way that this is G two, this is A two. This G is brought there. This A comes here. The subsequent points, the redrawing will be very difficult. You have to be very very careful. You have to get the points. A two, B two, C two, D two, E two, F two, G two, H two, I two, J two, K two, L two. Draw vertical projectors up. Draw vertical projectors up. Draw horizontal projectors. Where are the points? A two dash, B two dash, C two dash, D two dash. E two dash, F two dash, G two dash, H two dash, I two dash, J two dash, K two dash, and L two dash. Connect them. You get an ellipse whose minor axis is forty mm. This is sixty, and this is forty. Agreed. This is the this is this method is known to us conventional method. So I advise you to go for this particular method. Mark this forty so that this automatically become sixty because the diameter is seventy. Forty square plus sixty square is equal to seventy. I hope you understand. Thank you.